Hi, welcome to Cusco Inison Homestead. I'm Emma, and today we're going to show you a little bit about how we do our morning chores. So I'm going to feed the chickens and the younger teenage chickens and check on one of our sick chickens. And then Jason's going to feed the pigs and the ducks to show you how we do it. So follow me. So in the morning, I come in here, usually this is before dawn, and I fill up our feed bucket about half of the way with an already pre-mixed um, food that has supplements in it and stuff for the big chickens. And then I bring a scoop out for the teenagers that's food for younger animals for the supplements they need. And then we go this way. You can hear the ducks making noise in the background. So we recently moved our chickens. They're a little bit further away from the house than before. And so there's a bit of a longer walk in the morning. But you can see the big chicken house with the fence. And you can also see the smaller chicken tractor, which has the teenage roosters inside. So first we'll feed the teenage roosters. You can see that they're getting pretty big, and you can see the difference between the barred rocks and the hybrids with the white on them. So usually in the morning, I just dump them in piles for them to eat. And it looks like they still have some food left over from last night. So they'll have a snack this morning and they'll get most of their food in the afternoon. So I'm gonna walk around to the other side of the big chicken house and go in there and let them out for the morning and then feed them and Jason will be able to see them the other side. They still have food left over from last night too, but usually before I let them out, I dump the food out in some of the trains because I don't want them under my feet because they really like to get under your feet. I make sure that they have water, they do. And I put them in some piles in the yard too and not just in the trays. And I let them out. <laughs> and since it's already light, I'm gonna check to see if there's any eggs inside. And there's not, no eggs yet. There should be eggs later this morning or this afternoon. They were ready, they were hungry. And you can see that's the teenage chicken, one of the hybrid teenage chickens next to the big rooster. That's another one of the teenage chickens. You see they're a little bit smaller than, for example, that one. The hens that are older have the red combs. So you can kind of tell the difference. All right, bye chickens, see you later. We made sure her cage was far away from the other animals just in case she had some illness that others could subtract. But she has water and she has food. And you see her back there. She has a really orange comb. She looks kind of sick. She's not really moving much. All the other chickens are healthy and she's not. So we'll just leave her alone and hope she'll eat some of her food and drink some of her water. All right, now we're gonna move on to the ducks and the pigs. So I'll take the camera and Jason will show us what to do. So Emma does the chickens when she leaves, and then I leave later, so I do the ducks and the pigs. So we'll do the ducks first, and they get a couple scoops of this 18% broiler feed. And I give them a little bit of extra nutrient. This is a poultry Nutribalancer. And then a little bit of kelp meal. And that's just for minerals and micronutrients and things like that. 
now we come in here. I already looked at their water, and they're okay for at least half a day, and we're going to be here today, so I'm not going to fill up their water. But I am going to get them food. And the ducks are in the carport now, so we can kind of watch them and baby them, but soon they'll move out to their own little house. They're freaking out in there. <laughs> yeah, they're, very they're very skittish. It's a breed that's super nervous and skittish. It's called the Khaki Campbell. We're getting other breeds in the future that aren't quite so nervous. And they'll, um, pretty much they'll eat all of that food by the time Emma gets home. And she'll give them a little bit more. So we started giving them this tray. Make sure they get enough. This is their water. I'm gonna leave them alone. They're uh, freaking out. So that's the ducks. Now see the pigs. So the pigs get some pig food. And some extra nutrients. So we have the pigs and cattle panels too. So they're in a, a cattle panel enclosure and we're gonna actually move that later today and we may get that on video. We, get the, uh, we may not, it's our first time moving. Pigs, pigs, pigs. Pigs, pigs, pigs. Pick, pick, pick. Pick, pick, pick. Pick, pick, pick. Pick, pick, So it's pretty muddy in here right now. They've done a good job of uh, cleaning up the poison oak. And then what we're going to do is move them, um, even out the holes, put some straw down to uh, mulch it, and then Emma's going to plant corn in here. Yay! And so that should grow a nice cr crop of corn. This is their watering dish. Let me swap this out. We've got a 55 gallon barrel here just with some water for them so it's easy. We don't have to run a hose. Yesterday we gave them a little bit of apple cider vinegar in the water just to help with general health and help with parasites. But by moving them, that should that should really cut down on health issues. But yeah, those are the pigs. All right, um, that's it. You know, the geese we don't have to do anything with because uh, they're hopefully in their new enclosure. But sometimes they get out. But uh, 